Hello, air signs. How is everyone? I hope you're doing well. Three of cups. I hope you're celebrating something. Wow. Three of cups and the ten of cups. Thirteen cups. That's a lot of happiness. That's bliss, pure joy. I see you getting happier and happier. Bam. Four of Swords, because you're taking the rest that you need. Meditation. You're being blessed here. Blessed to rest. Being taken care of. Someone could be taking care of you. The Tower, there's a sudden change, a sudden revelation, a sudden epiphany, a new movement a new opportunity that moves you forward um, with grace and style is what I hear. The chariot is all about being seen um, for accomplishing something great. It's like being in a parade and everyone sees you and they wave and you wave back. You're balanced. You've taken um, the dark and the light, your shadow side and the light side, and you've combined them and you control them and you can drive, you're driving your life with both hands on the wheel. Something wonderful could just all of a sudden come in. There's a caring community here, card number 25, which is seven. Seven is uh, a very spiritual number. It's also, um, is it an integer? But you know when you're in school and it's the alligator that eats the numbers, it's like a fraction sign. Seven is like that, so whatever is behind it is, um, is the focus. Caring community, participate and belong. Enrich your life. There's a lot of community. There's home here. There's a coming together. People are seeing each other for their hearts, for the true magic that they are. There's full moon magic here. So this is a lot of emotions. There's a lot of love here and a family. Some kind of family friend dynamic. Everybody's backs are clear, so there's no like backstabbing or anything like that. It's just true. There's divine energy all around them. Magic in the air. So if something was broken, so the Four of Swords, this is like this unicorn has been at battle, it's been at war, and now it's come to rest. Something has come to rest, and now there's a, a, a solid move forward that could be quite sudden, or a new idea that brings a lot of success in, in love, camaraderie. This is the Divine Feminine deck. We are all masculine and feminine within. I should make a Divine Masculine deck. That would be fun. I see the vastness of space. Things are endless, and there's endless possibilities. New life to be explored, new places, travel, hearts, experiences. You could be going out on the town, going to a new restaurant. You could have recently gone to a new place and loved it. Emoja, the goddess of all that flows. I'm sorry, gotta find my where you can see it best. 
I am an ocean of creative energy. I give birth to what exists within me. What exists within you is great magic and beauty. Look at the power of those waves, your emotions. When you follow your heart, you succeed in all areas. Mm, this is, this one's, how do I say this? Um, Yeshi Tao, oh, mm, the lady of the lotus born. <laughs> Embodiment is the deepest bliss. My body was made for enlightenment. She's dancing and at the beginning of this reading was great bliss. Ten of Cups is bliss. That's happiness. That's fortune after difficulty. Three of Cups is bliss. It's happiness. You're looking up. Things are looking up. You're celebrating with your soul family, with your tribe, um, with the energy all around. Look at that. Look at this. Open to abundance. Card number eight. Believe you deserve Accept plenty and prosperity. 11. Look for the signs. There's a 33 here. Pay attention. Expect an answer. I see abundance that just could be flying in. That's beautiful. Dance with life. Something's ending here for new things to be born. Go with the flow. This great abundance is for you. You're magical. You've, you've dived deep into your emotions and I see you going deeper and, and um, rising higher than you've ever, uh, rose before you're enlightened and you see you see great beauty in all things the colors of things may change to you that's what happens when you become enlightened things change because your thoughts about them change. Some of y'all look really great in a bikini, okay? <laughs> Mermaids are magical creatures. The symbolism is you, you can go to great depths and you live at great depths of your emotions. You're highly intuitive. There's, um, there's save, I'm reminded of the, the mermaid saving, saving someone, saving the prince, saving like the little mermaid, a whole new world. Diana, queen of the wilderness, the language of the natural world. I'm just checking to make sure that you can see this. The language of the natural world is a frequency of love. This is my mother tongue. She kind of reminds me of Mini Driver. You're following your heart. You're in your meditation. You're. Um, You've alchemized your emotions and your vibration to love, and in comes this huge abundance. Rita of Kaskai, the patroness of impossible causes. I am miraculous. My prayers create powerful channels of possibility. Prayer and meditation. I am 
miraculous. My prayers create powerful channels of possibility. Something, something changes within you. You see things from a higher perspective. You see things for what they are. You let go of whatever it is that you need to let go of and you move forward with this deep knowing and this beautiful love and you share it with the world and you're open to abundance and you accept plenty and prosperity. You accept your abundance. You see the signs. You're accessing your gifts. You accept who you truly are and so does the world. I am miraculous.